I had four episodes within a three or four month period earlier this year. After those recent cases of AFib and a stroke back in 2020, Keith Kaback wasn't taking any more chances. The former physician knew Banner Phoenix was a leader in irregular heartbeat technology, so he wasn't worried about being one of the first in the country to try their latest balloon catheter device, called the Polar X Cryoablation System. What was reassuring was the fact that I knew that the, the balloon had been studied for, I think, a year or two prior. Instead of the one-size-fits-all balloon that has traditionally been used for the last couple of decades, this new technology has two balloon sizes, 28 millimeters and 31 millimeters. And it's able to seal off the area and then perform a freezing and that an area that actually is causing AFib to start. Dr. Wilbur Sue is the director of heart rhythm services at Banner Phoenix. He says, having different balloon sizes allows the catheter to more accurately freeze problematic tissue, eventually creating scarring that blocks irregular electrical signals to help regulate heartbeats. This is actually a very easy way to freeze off the bad area and just thaws out and, you know, allow the area to heal well over time. So far, Dr. Sue says he's performed about 10 different procedures and that they've gone smoothly. But the desire to improve the efficiency of these catheters never stops. Sue says the next step is combining the multiple sizes of balloons with mapping technology. To be able to really define the actual benefit uh, on each patient. That way we collect that over hundreds and thousands of patients and track them over time to see how much better they do. As for Keith, a little over two weeks after his procedure, he's optimistic about what lies ahead. It will give me more peace of mind, uh, less fear that I would be at risk for a stroke again in the future. Keith says another benefit of having this catheter procedure done is that he can now get some other surgeries that he wants done. He wants to get a hip replacement, but usually that requires going off a blood thinner and doing that while experiencing AFib. That can increase your chances of having a stroke. Jared and Whitney. Yeah, so often people need to have one surgery yeah. so they can have another, get their blood pressure down. It's pretty cool they're doing this in Phoenix. Have they expanded to other cities yet? Yeah, so Whitney and Jared, basically as soon as this was approved by the FDA, it became pretty much the standard norm for operating centers across the country. It's just that because it was tested in Phoenix, once it got approved by the FDA, they were the first ones that really got to try it out on actual patients. That's great. Opens the door for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people. Elliot, thanks.